Shalom, I'm Rabbi Gary Zweig from Gedalia. Just came back from an amazing mission to Israel. We had four of us. It was the middle of February and the weather was great. We visited a lot of places. Jerusalem, Hebron, Mount Hermon, Gaza. Places that you think might be dangerous. We saw a lot of people just like you and me. People that really enjoy life and as you can see in this video, have a great time. I really hope the next time you're going to come with me on the next family mission to Israel. I look forward to you watching this video and please give me a call afterwards. Here we are in Israel. In a hot summer day in Israel. Look at the way the rabbi ripped the snow. Can you imagine? Just like in Toronto. Got a shirt on in the snow. Fantastic rabbi. Here we are in beautiful Hermon and you got everything that Canada has. I know you missed the snow. You see that? It's beautiful here. I'm going to throw a snowball right at Manny there. Here we are. You know, we had great luck here. What else can you get? Look at that. What else could you ask for? Skiing, snowboarding, everything. Ice skating. And you know what? A couple of weeks ago, my friends played hockey up here. So let's go here, to the ski lift. Get the skis out. Shirt, shirt, uh, sleeve, shirt. Get the skis out. Not even cold. Having a good time? Terrific. Fantastic. Absolutely great. You climbed Mount Kermon. I climbed it. Just came back. I got everything you I got everything. It's got this it takes in the sound too? Sure it does. It's good. You love it. It's warm and sunny. Okay, beautiful. Excellent. Keep tomorrow, up the good work. Tomorrow short trousers. No problem. Thank, Thank you. Saturday cold morning. Now the sun is out and bomb for that with me. Excellent. I'm looking forward to a beautiful weather. Amen. Manny, first time in Israel, how do you feel? Good? First time in Israel, I'm very excited. And uh, it's getting better and better every every moment. My name is Shira Persa, and my maiden name is Shira Tepperman. I understand that my mother went to high school with you, Forest Hill, right? That's exactly true, Bathurst so, Heights. I lived in Toronto until I was 18, and then I came to live in Israel. How do you like it here in Gush Katif? Oh, we're very, very happy here. Here. We're so happy we came. Thank you in Toronto. But, uh, we wanted to tell you how happy we are you came to visit with the mission and um, how proud we are of the people that come to visit. We really encourage everybody to come and visit us, especially here in Gushetian. And you can't beat the weather, that's for sure. And um, this is my kid, this is Shlomo and Rafa. How old is Shlomo? Shlomo is three. He was born here in Israel. Say hi to Shlomo. Say hi. Shalom. And how old is Rivka? Rivka is five and a half. She came here when she was a baby five years ago. And she goes to Hebrew speaking John and she makes Hebrew and English. And they have a wonderful life here. And they are always outside and they play in the park. I also know Hebrew. Very nice. And they um, they have a lot of freedom and visiting and uh, we'd love to see more visitors and we have a lot to offer and a lot to show and we hope you're coming to visit us too. Tell me it's perfectly safe to come here and visit and have a coffee or pizza, whatever. You can have, have a coffee and a pizza and enjoy the great view and the great lifestyle we have here and we certainly think it's safe because we live here. How many people live in Efrod? How many people live in Efrod about? I think there's 1,200 to 1,400 families growing every day. Since the time we moved here four years ago, the entire neighborhood has been put up. We ourselves have a lot. We're going to uh, hopefully see God building a house here soon. Um, among all our friends and our neighbors, we're also building at this time. So every day new houses, new apartments go up, and people keep on moving here for the amazing lifestyle, the great infrastructure, the great schools, and great views, and all the good things about Israel. So tell them all right now, come to Israel. We want you people in Thornhill to go take that long trip it's and just a long trip. My husband does it every week. Really? With Avram Ellis is a teacher. I'm here in Beitar Elite. I'm here for uh, six years. Here in Beitar you have, you have uh, many uh, beautiful children. Beautiful. Yeah. And it's a beautiful place and I love being uh, in Eretz Israel, especially in Beitar Elite. Uh -huh. How many kids you got? How many kids you got? I, I personally have five children. Kanan Hor, what are their ages? And, and they range from what? From three to sixteen, yeah. 16 years old. Uh, I teach here in this area in uh, high school English uh, for Russians. Here uh, in Beitar, we have a beautiful school called the Seal Marina uh -huh. for Russian high school students. Wait, wait, children, uh, wait, wait, wait. Yes. Have you invite other Torontonians to come and visit? Please. Come and visit, and don't only visit, come and stay. Okay, here we are in East Jerusalem, so-called, and with 
one lovely senor here. He's going to explain a little bit in Espanol what we're doing here and what he does here. Senor, por favor. Sí. ¿Cómo se llama usted? Yo me llamo David. How long have you been here? ¿Cuántos años estás aquí? Nueve años. Okay. ¿Qué dices de esta esta macom? Es el macom muy hermoso este sitio, el más hermoso del mundo. Muy bien. Gracias. And now Ira, our beautiful guide in English. And we're standing in front of the house that was uh, adjacent to, to the oldest Jewish graveyard in the world, largest oldest Jewish graveyard in Harris 18, the Mount of Olives. And this building was used by drug addicts four years ago. It originally belonged to the Hebra Kadisha, the Stratic Hebra Kadisha. And four years ago we redeemed it. Now there's a family living on the right side and a kolel on the left side. But it, uh, no, you can walk here wherever you want. There's no problems. Uh, any time of day or night is a good place to be. It's important to come here in what's called East Jerusalem. Thank you. Welcome to Hebron. I'm standing outside Marat HaMachpeda, the second holiest site for the Jewish people in all the world. And not only am I here, but you can be here too. You can come visit. You can be one of the literally hundreds of thousands of people that come home to visit Ima Ba'aba, Saba Basafta. Your mothers and your fathers, your grandfathers and your grandmothers right behind you because this is the roots of the Jewish people. This is where we all began almost 4,000 years ago and we're still here. Today in Hebron, we have over 85 Jewish families that live here. There are over 800 Jews that live in the city of Avram Avinu. And we have groups that come in by the tens and the dozens and the fifties and the hundreds and the thousands every day, every week, every year. And you too can be part of that. Come in, visit us, see us here. You can come in to Davin and to Marat HaMakpelah. You know, when you say here the words in our prayers, Elokei Avraham, Elokei Yitzchak, Elokei Yaakov, this is it. This is where they have been for almost 4,000 years. How long have you lived here? My name is David Wilder. Very nice. And I've been living here now in this area for over 24 years. I live here with my family. I have two married daughters that live here in Hebron, with grandchildren here in Hebron, and children in school here. Baruch Hashem. We're all very, very happy to be here. And it's a big salute. It's a big, big, big privilege to be able to be here. And if you can be here too, and you can come join us, I have no doubt that your day in Hebron will be a day you will never, ever forget for the rest of your life. David, I see some musicians on the right-hand side. You bring your own music here? We have very, very talented people in Hebron. We have artists, we have musicians, and, and they, they do very, very creative work, all in the name of Hashem, all holy, all tahor, all pure, and you can see it and be part of it. Sure, sing a song. Give a little song. Give a little song for us. Come on, a little song. Go ahead, a little song. Beautiful. David, as we're hearing music, what do you think of people that say, you know, if you guys just leave, and we'll make quiet, you know, it's too much work to be here. What do you say to those people that say, you know, don't start up. What, what do you say to those people back home? They say back that the only place for a Jew today to be is in Eretz Yisrael. That just as people don't want us in Hebron, there are people that don't want us in Yerushalayim, and they also don't want us in Tel Aviv. The only way to assert ourselves, not to acquiesce to the terror that we've been facing, not only here in Hebron and in Eretz Yisrael, but the terror that we're facing around the world, is to stand up for our own God-given legitimate rights. And what right do we have? What, what could be more appropriate for a Jew than to be in the first Jewish city, in the city of Abraham, in the city of David, here in Hebron? We've had a wonderful few days, and you know something? There's still room for everybody here. The hotel is beautiful, everything's beautiful. We haven't had a bad day at all. It's been bright and beautiful and wonderful. And this is the end of February in Toronto where it's freezing cold and everything. And you can be here too. We've had some amazing times. It's just so unbelievable. It's only a ticket away and a videotape away. So come here next time. You'll be making the videotape. Call me anytime you want to hear more about it. We'll tell you. We have Manny, Michael, Russell. Everybody's here. You know, if they're wanting you to come, what else can you say? Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. And I hope next time we'll see you here. Thanks. Ma le chaya kitanus, ay ardent